Hello everybody. Today I'm going to discuss what is IR spectroscopy. In this video, I will discuss basic rules of IR spectroscopy. I will discuss instrumentation and principle of IR spectroscopy. I will also discuss how to analyze IR spectrum. So keep watching. Basically in IR spectroscopy, we irradiate matter with the IR radiation. This IR radiation is absorbed by the matter and this absorption is manifested in the form of transmittance at different wavelength in the IR spectrum. When we analyze IR spectrum, we get information about the structure of the molecule or compound. So let us discuss some basics of IR spectroscopy. So as we know, all the molecules keep vibrating always, but in them there are some IR active vibrations, some are IR inactive vibrations. If a molecule has at least one IR active vibration, it will be IR active. If it do not have IR active vibration, it will not be an IR active molecule. So what are IR active molecules? See, first we'll see IR active vibration. Those vibrations during which there happens change in the dipole moment of the molecule, they are, they are IR active vibrations. So, based upon this definition, what are IR active molecules? IR active molecules are those in which there is at least one IR active vibration. Okay, so these are some of the examples of IR active molecules. These are some of the examples of IR inactive molecules. So, total number of vibrational modes in a molecule are given by these two formula. For a linear molecule, total number of vibrational modes are 3n minus 5. For a nonlinear molecule, there are 3n minus 6 total vibrations. So I will take one example of linear and one example of non-linear molecule and I will calculate the vibrations. So here I have taken one linear molecule that is CO2. CO2 is a linear molecule. So applying this formula 3 and minus 5, we will get four different vibrations. Okay. So now first vibration you see First vibration is symmetric stretching. In this symmetric stretching, there is no change in dipole movement. You can see here. This is why this vibration is IR inactive. Okay. Now the second one is second one is asymmetric stretching. You can see this is asymmetric stretching. In the asymmetric stretching, there is change in the dipole movement. So this vibration is IR active vibration. And the other one, third is in plane bending. During this dipole moment change happens. Therefore, this vibration is also IR active vibration. Similarly, you can see out of plane bending. In this also, change in dipole movement happens therefore this is an IR active vibration. Overall CO2 is a IR active molecule with one IR inactive vibration and three IR active vibrations. Okay now we will move to the next example that is a non-linear molecule that is water. Water has three vibrations first one is you can see here first one is symmetric stretching during symmetric stretching there is no change in dipole moment this is why this is ir inactive vibration you can see the animation here okay the next one is asymmetric stretching in the asymmetric stretching you can see there is change in the dipole moment Therefore, this is an IR active vibration. Similarly, we'll see symmetric bending. This is the third type of vibration in the water. 
This is symmetric bending. There is no change in dipole moment. Therefore, it should be IR inactive vibration. Overall, water molecule is a IR active molecule due to presence of IR active vibrations in it. Okay. So this is about the IR active molecules, IR active vibrations. I, only IR active molecules give IR spectrum. Okay. So let me move to the instrumentation. This is how in, IR instrument looks like. This is the instrument connected with the computer. I will just show you the other diagram here. You can well understand. See. This is a clear exam, I mean diagram of the instrument. This is just a you know line diagram. You see, this is IR source, radiation source. When we put radiation radiation on the sample, then sample will absorb that radiation. Some amount will be reflected also. So it will absorb most of the radiation remaining radiation will just transmit to the detector more is the absorption less is the transmission okay so so when when band that uh, bond is very strong very strong absorption there will be least transmission okay or this uh, you see transmission of remaining radiation to the detector and this detector will send signal to the computer on the computer screen we will see the ir spectrum here i will just show you the ir spectrum this is one example of ir spectrum on this axis it transmittance and this axis is wave number okay now you see here you you will see for this molecule here you will see co stretching and the transmittance is very very low here you see for this peak transmittance is very less okay what it means it means most of the radiation has been absorbed a very less amount of higher radiation has reached to the detector okay so this is why this kind of this this signal is showing very less transmittance similarly for case of this oh stretching you will see transmittance is like little higher than this but still lower so here also the radiation has been absorbed by the bond in the molecule this is why transmittance is decreased okay but here you see if you see here here transmittance is very high you see that means the very less amount of radiation has been absorbed by these bonds so based upon the transmittance you can so these bonds appear at particular wave number so the position of wave number and also the you know strongness of these bands you can identify the compound you know that oh stretching stretching happens in this range okay and CO stretching happens at this 1700 and OH stretching 2971. So if this band is appearing, IR, you know, this is called IR peak. These are the IR peaks. If IR peak is appearing here, you can understand, okay, so this is OH stretching or you can say CH stretching. Similarly, CO stretching. In this way, you can identify the compound by IR spectra. But it is very difficult to, you know, completely identify the structure because there are so many vibrations in the molecule and it is very difficult to interpret all the vibrations. So, IR spectroscopy is basically used to identify functional groups in the compounds. Okay. So, this is a kind of, you know, technique that helps to identify compounds along with other techniques it cannot identify a compound alone it can only identify functional group not other parts of the molecule because it become because it becomes very very complicated okay so this is 
all about IR spectrum. This is, these are the some typical infrared absorption values or peaks. These are the absorption peaks where they appear. You see, absorption peak C. I'll just tell you first what is absorption peak. Here, see, this is absorption peak. This is absorption peak. These are the absorption peak. Why they are absorption peak? Because here they have absorbed the radiation, and as a result of absorption of IR radiation, their you know transmittance has just become least. Okay, so these are absorption peaks. Okay, now here I have shown some you know values of absorption peaks. So, for example, if absorption peaks appears at 1650 to 1800 centimeter inverse, you will, you can guess that this is for CO stretching. Similarly, for C triple bond N stretching, C double bond N stretching, these values. Similarly, CH stretching, these values. OH stretching, these values. So, based upon the this uh, wave number of the absorption peaks you can identify the type of vibration or you can say you can identify the compound this region is called fingerprint region this region from 500 to 1000 centimeter inverse this is a very complicated region because it gives us so many peaks and it is very difficult to analyze the data so we basically use this region functional group region this region is called functional group region Okay, so this is all about IR spectroscopy for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are really liking these videos, you can subscribe the channel. You can also share these videos with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to press like and bell icon. Thank you so much.